Bienvenidos and welcome back to Spain. Today we are in Andalusia and I'm going to walk you through a very unique and beautiful town. Um, even better, it's partly named after the wineries that were introduced in this area. Um, after the towns in this area were taken over by the Christians in the 15th century. So it's an area that's very rich in almond trees and olive groves. Um, you'll see a lot of goats in this area as well that help produce the cheese. And you're gonna see the gorgeous views of this town and learn about a bit about the history and the food as well. Hola, I'm Margaret from Moon in Spain. And today I'm greeting you from the province of Cadiz in Southern Spain and Andalusia. We're in a beautiful small town called Saint Daniel de las Bodegas, and we're gonna walk you through the streets of this town before we continue on to the city of Ronda. Okay, so the town is filled with cave homes, um, but they're sort of a different type of cave home. Um, they have what's called the abrigo on top, so you can see the rocks um, up on the tops of the homes, and then the homes are built actually underneath the rock um, longitudinally. Um, so we're actually on one of the two main streets um, that is separated by the river Guadalporcon and this is the street of the shade, the Calle de la Sombra. So just one of the things that the town is known for are the sweets that they make um, out of olive oil. So here you can see a nice display um, of different types of cookies, muffins, um, donuts, and here you can get um, a chupito or a shot. So you can have a shot of pacharan, which is a slow berry liqueur or any other type of liqueur and a sweet um, or a coffee and a sweet for two years. So we're in a shop here um, that specializes in all different types of ceramics. But in here as well, you can see um, the top of the cave here so the caves here the tops of them are from the top and um, the inside area are actually black so right now i'm looking up um, at the very top of the inside of the shop but besides that he the man here also has some really nice ceramics and pottery You can see a couple more examples of the ceramics from this area. And now you're gonna be able to see again um, the dramatic overhang of the rock um, here with the cave homes built on both sides of it. So like I said, that's called the abrigo or the coat. It helps control, um, the, you know, to have decent amount of shade and also the temperature of the insides of the caves as well. Okay, so we're gonna have a quick tapa here at this, um, it's like a store and a small bar. We're gonna have the um, bayoyo cheese, which is from here, from this area. It's made with goat's milk. It's just a semi-cured and it's served with um, a little bit of jam. And then we have a vermouth and a beer. And then we will continue on walking. So we just stopped in this really cool um, place that has all local cheese and uh, most of it is goat cheese and then of course um, we're in an area where they raise a lot of um, pigs so we have different chorizo, ham, um, salchichon as well all from the area. You can see um, some different types of sherry. Um, we have the Pedro Jimenez, um, the Oloroso, Palo Cortado, the Vermouth. And some more bottles as well.
Okay, well, we finished our great tapa of the payoyo cheese. It was actually served with a, um, like a jam that was made from a sweet sherry. And now we're walking up hill towards the castle and the city hall, Have these beautiful streets filled with orange trees. So as we walk further up into the town, you even have some more views of the beautiful cave homes. Um, in Andalusia, you'll find cave homes in other places as well because of the geology that we have here, the mountain ranges and volcanoes. It has always been since prehistory an easy way to live. Okay, so we just hiked up here to basically the top of the town. There's a sign here that you'll find um, in many towns in Spain, one of the beautiful towns of the country. So here you have a view of Centennial de las Bodegas up here from the top um, near what was the old Arabic wall of the town. It's a fairly small town. It's only about 3,000 people. And I'm also standing right under um, part of the Nazareth Tower from the castle, so from the Nazareth dynasty. Um, this town of Centennial wasn't taken over by the Christians until 1484 and then followed by Ronda in 1485. So we are going to continue walking just a bit more through the town and then continue on to Ronda. And you can see now the main church of the town, Nuestra Señora de la Encarnación. It was built on top of the old mosque here um, in the upper part of the town. It's a late Gothic church um, with one nave and two sacristies um, on either side of the altar. And now we're going to continue on our walk. So just down the street from the church, we have another beautiful view of the town from up above and one of the um, up our gates to the town as well, and we're going to continue walking down towards the river. Okay, so now we are walking back down towards the river, and this is one of the oldest streets in the town, La Calle Herreria, which translates to the street of the blacksmiths. So it goes from the top of the town, walking down, you can see the rocks up here up on top of the street, hanging over, providing some shade. And then we're gonna walk back down towards the river into the center of the town. And walking on the way down, you have a lovely corner here, begging you to not be a grump and to kiss your loved one here um, in this beautiful scenery. And then there's another um, corner as well as we're walking down that has some um, flower pots and it's dedicated to the women. It says one flower, one woman, as you can see right here. here. You can have a view of that wall, just a different view from further away, all the flowers dedicated to women and another nice view of the town as we walk down. Okay, so we just walked down all the way down back to the center. We're now on the other street, which is called the Street of the Caves in the Sun, which actually has more shade right now um, where we're standing because you could see the rocks hanging over. There's a lot of people out sitting out enjoying um, a lot of grilled meat, which is one of the specialties here, and um, the grilled Iberian pork. So a lot of people are sitting out here enjoy. I'm standing on one of the bridges that's right here in the center. And so we are going to continue on our journey and jump on the motorcycle and head to Ronda. So thanks for joining us today. Please remember to give a thumbs up and hasta pronto.